In this chapter of the video manual for the Studio One Scoring Tools add-on, we will focus on the playback section of the Scoring Tools toolbar. The first two buttons, Previous Frame and Next Frame, are meant to be used in combination with the video track in Studio One 6 or with the video player in Studio One 5. I decided to place these two buttons quite prominently on the toolbar so that you can quickly go back and forward one frame at any time to locate a certain hit point in the video. For example, when you want to set a marker at this hit point. Of course, as with all commands that come with the Scoring Tools add-on, you can also create keyboard shortcuts for them. To know which command to look for in the keyboard shortcuts window, just hover over the button and then you get these little tooltips that reveal the actual name of the command. The actual command here is Rewind Frame. Now we can go into the keyboard shortcuts and enter Rewind to see all the Rewind commands included in Scoring Tools, such as Rewind Beat, Frame, Grid or Second. Grid in this case means the currently selected quantized value for the grid. Or the same with Forward. Here we have Forward Beat, Frame, Grid and Second. If you want to learn about the complete list of commands that come with scoring tools, you can click the info button in the toolbar, which will open the scoring tools website. And here you have access not only to the video manual section, but also to the list of all commands in the add-on. Now let's take a look at the solo button. This is not the same as the existing solo command in Studio One, which solos a single track or a track selection. What this solo button actually does is it solos all tracks of the selected events, which has become one of my everyday power features for orchestral arranging and editing of instrument groups. It allows to quickly select a number of events in your arrangement and then listen to only these single events. To give you an example, let's hear a view bars of this short piece. For further refinement of the overlapping of sections or instruments within one section, or also to see if certain voicings across instruments work well, I can now select some events. For example, I'd like to hear only the strings and the piano. Now let's see how the strings work together with the woodwinds. Or woodwinds and brass together. And to unsolo all these events or tracks, you just press the button again. Again, a keyboard shortcut for that can be very useful. <laughs> 